Ah, uh, this isn't downstairs. There you go. Where is the... There you are. <clears throat> Alright, what's up guys? So, right now, this is going to be kind of a... A day in the life of, Ke of a Kenyan. Part 3. And this one's going to be kind of cool because right now, it is... 8.48 a.m. And... I'm going to be heading to work at Defy Gravity, so I'll probably won't be able to film there, but I'll film after. I'll, after, I'll be working out with Nick, and after that, we'll go get something to eat. So today should be a pretty good day. It's really nice outside, kind of chilly, but yeah. What is up, everybody? I am at... Anyways, as I was saying, I'm out of work right now, and we are about to head to Enso Movement, meet up with Nick and everybody else, and so So we are at Enso right now. I'll try my best to film some of the session. I'll, if I don't, then I don't. But if I do, then I do. Wait. Oh, you got it, man. Alright. Back from the session. I'm stealing the camera from Emmanuel, so. We are about to go, I'm about to head over to Nick's house. Uh -huh. And then we're gonna go get some dinner and then mm -hmm. chop it up with you. So, peace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. All right. Always gotta have your seatbelt. All right. I'm with all the shit that you like. I'm with all the shit that you like. You wanna go? We just came from Enso. It's it's uh right outside of Raleigh. Past like uh, right past 540 off a of capital. I don't know the road it's off of, but it's pretty cool. It's like the only well, it was one of the first uh, parkour gyms to be made in North Carolina. So it's really cool. And I knew the guys before they made it. I remember they tell us, uh, yeah, we're uh, planning to open up our own parkour gym and stuff like that. And I was like, nah, you're not gonna do it. But like, you know, 10 le 10 years later, I mean, here they are and they have their own like parkour gym, and I think that's crazy. But yeah, um, so it's a day in the life of a Kenyan boy. I stole his uh, camera, but he's like right in front of me. If you can't see it, in his uh, red Corolla. <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, oh, this is a uh, this is a sneak peek into the future. But me and Emmanuel might be getting a new place to stay. So you got to stay tuned for that later on. But I thought that was a good thing to point out. But right now we are we're going back to my house, and then we're gonna I'm gonna take a shower. I think Manuel is too. We're kind of both sweaty. Uh, my house is closer, I think. I don't know. And after that, we're gonna go get something to eat, and then after that, then we're gonna go uh, work. So basically, we're just gonna have like a long overnight meeting where we're just gonna like nerd out on like all these ideas and stuff that uh, we're thinking about. So it's gonna be really fun. So all right, uh, day in the life of a Kenyan boy. Uh, this is not the Kenyan boy, this is Nick. My name's Nick Kelsch. Manuel is one of my good friends. I've known him for a long time. I've known him since middle school. Uh-oh, Popo. God, police are crazy out here. I remember I got pulled over on the same road 
and uh, I was speeding and the cop came up and he said, do you know why I pulled you over? And I said, uh, yeah, it's because uh, I was speeding. And I was like, you caught me, right? And he just looks at me and he's like, don't do it again. And I promise you, it's happened to me. Like, I've gotten pulled over like at least three times and it's every time it's been for speeding. Back to the topic, yeah. I've known Emmanuel since uh, middle school. Really cool dude, but like he was not tall at all. He was actually like short and chubby, which is kind of funny because now he's like tall and slender. He looks, he looks like a uh, slender man or something. I don't know. <laughs> he's like really tall and skinny. But uh, we're going to community college right now, trying to save up some money so then we can transfer to a four year and uh, get our uh, masters in uh, business and administration. Manuel actually used to live with me a year ago at my own house just because his mom moved away from our high school and like my house was really close and he lived with his mom he would live really far away and he didn't have a car to drive so he stayed with me for a good uh, year but then he finally moved back with his mom because he finally got a car so everything's back to normal it was kind of cool though he's like he was always there there's always someone to do something with you know now we're going to my house and then we're going to get some food I'm so hyped it's we're going to this place called my place I don't know why they called it my place but it's always packed every freaking night and I'm like what kind of food is in there like because it's always packed and it does not have a really interesting name like let's be honest the name of it is my place all right so we're by uh, Wakefield right there's the movie theater it's like the back of it but uh, I remember one time uh, it was like five years ago some guy got shot at there so everyone doesn't go there anymore everyone goes to the mall there's jelly beans it's like a skating rink we're like five minutes away from my house now. We had to cut through this way because ah, I hate this, okay? There's two lanes on Capitol Boulevard, which is right next, which is next to my house, the part of Capitol Boulevard where there's only two lanes. I promise you, uh, my school I go to, Wait Tech, it's 20 minutes away from my house at the most, right? But with traffic, it makes it over 40 minutes to sometimes an hour away from my house. So that's why we're taking this back way, just like everyone else is. This guy right here, everyone, because uh, they don't want to be stuck in traffic. Wow, finally. Well, then, this classic tree is, is the tree for and all your holiday decorations while supplies last. <laughs> I'm calling this night Project Greenlight. I don't know why, it just came to me in my head. That's what I'm calling it, Project Greenlight. All right, Project Greenlight is in effect. <laughs> That's the name of tonight, because we're going to do all this work. All right, we'll see you guys in a little bit when we go to my kill, place. Kill, 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 kill. Not my place, but like my place, like the restaurant. A restaurant. Angela. This is Angela's 17th birthday. Seven. Mm-hmm. We got her an ice cream cake, so. Can she do it? These are Chuck candles, I'm gonna be mad. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Angela. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Alright, we are at the next house. Just ate some ice cream cake. I think it was good. We're about to head out. Oh, y'all haven't seen this. This is the Jeep. Wrangler. A wrangler, 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 Mangler. Backflip. Backflip, backflip. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. 
drink. We are headed to my place, Just driving by memory lane, that's GameStop. So many men, it's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. How do you open these windows again? Ready, three, two, one. Welcome to my place. My place tavern, restaurant, sports, sports, so entertainment. Try not to, try not to be suspicious. You ready? Just gonna walk in. Just gonna let it hang on my chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty good about yourself. Right here. Awesome, thank you. Usually it's like this, so. What are you? It's not coming out. Fish and chips? Yes. Yeah. Y'all need anything else? Um, ketchup, mustard, mayo? Hey, ketchup, please. Uh huh. Just came from my place. Now we're at okay. Wally World. Need to get some Dio. Back at Nick's house. It was fun. Had to dap me up, dude. Been a long time. As you can see, this is Nick. Did a lot of stuff today. I'm about to head back home. Give you a recap of what went down today. First, I have to get my car. If I can find my keys. Alright, see you later. Back home. Uh, what's up, guys? I'm back at home. I think I'm start calling this the hot seat. It's the hot seat. So today I went to Defy Gravity. Had work from 9:30 to 4, and at Defy Gravity, it's a trampoline park. So I'm basically watch people, make sure they're following the rules so they don't get hurt, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But after that, went to Enso. Wasn't really feeling it today since my leg is still hurt, so I just worked basic kicks. But you did see clips of Nick going crazy as usual. And after that, he kind of, you see, he took over the camera. He got a little, you got, to, you got to know more about myself and him. Um, went back to his house, his sister's birthday, so he ate some ice cream cake. Oh my gosh. And then after. Anyways, that was just my mom. But as I was saying, went to Angela's, no, went to Nick's house for Angela's birthday. Ate some ice cream cake, which was really good. Had di dessert before dinner, and then had my house. My house wasn't. We we thought it was gonna be a lot better because we always see that place packed, but it felt like old, like an old people restaurant. Like everybody in there just kind of had this face, like get me out of here. But it was all right. Had a Cajun seasoned burger with some sweet potato fries, and then kind of went to. You saw the clips in Walmart. Now I'm back here, but so. Today was a pretty cool day. Ate, chopped it up. I did it. The original plan was to stay over at Nick's house, but I didn't understand what he meant. So I didn't even pack clothes or my laptop or anything. So I just came back here. But don't worry, because you'll see that very in the future. You'll see me and him, the kind of stuff that we're working on. We are working on some big stuff to kind of uh, not really change the game, but change ourselves. So as we are pursuing a master's in business administration, so this will kind of just show our road to that journey. Yeah, so I hope you guys have a great day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment for more content. Subscribe for more content. Thank you for watching. Peace.